For this course, the markup is calculated as a percentage of the selling price, therefore selling price will be the base and represent 100%. This practice is used by most retailers because most retail records and statistics are kept in sales dollars. The calculation of percent markup based on selling price is the same as that for percent markup based on cost, except for the base, the denominator, changes from cost to selling price. Remember, finding percent markup is a rate problem using the now familiar percentage formula rate equals portion over base. For this application, the percent markup based on selling price is the rate, the amount of the markup is the portion, and the selling price is the base. So percent markup of selling price equals markup the portion over selling price the base. Here's an example. Quality Hardware and Garden Supply purchases electric drills for $60 each. If it sells the drills for $125, what is the amount of markup and what is the percent markup based on selling price? Calculate the amount of the markup using M equals SP minus C, so M equals 125 minus 60, which equals a markup of $65. Calculate the percent markup based on selling price. Percent markup based on selling price equals M over SP, so that's 65 over 125, which gives us a percent markup based on selling price of 52%. We can also use a table to fill in the given information using 100% for the base and X for its unknown. Calculate the figure for the remaining cell in the column without the X, then form a box. Solve for the proportion for x by cross-multiplying the corner figures in the box. In this case, 125x equals 65 times 100. So x equals 6500 over 125, which equals 